And I'll tell you guys, you're very lucky that you have a good Sifu to teach you and to motivate you. So how many times a week do you guys train? I had uh, 47 fights as a boxer. And I just started fighting MMA this last month, my first MMA fight. But I've been training uh, Muay Thai and all different martial arts around Asia. And I lived in uh, Shaolin. Two times only. Okay, two times, not bad. Anybody three times? Okay, very good. More than three times? Yeah, more than three times? How many? Uh, every morning, just warm up and up. Very good. Okay, so even at your house, before you go to school in the morning, you can just get up and do your, do your warm up or do your forms, practice your patterns. Also when you're sleeping, also when you're daydreaming, also when your teacher is boring in school. Practice your patterns in your head. You practice everything in your head first, and then when you do it with your body, it will be much easier. All right. So anyway, I'm very proud of all of you. You did really well today. I'm sorry we had to pick some winners and losers, but that's just the way it is. Where's the little brother that was punching over here? Is that you? You were punching over here? Is that you? Number two team? Were you number two team? Yeah, I think so. You were the one you were punching. Okay, how long have you been training? Okay, so don't feel bad. Okay, today you were number three. It's okay. You just started. Keep training. Keep practicing. And you will get there. Don't be afraid. When I started, I was the worst student. I was the worst student for two years. Those boys beat me up every day. They beat me up and tell me, don't come back. And I came back every day and I got beat up and I got beat up for two years. When I was uh, 11, 12 years old, I was only four foot nine. I don't even know what that is in centimeters. 109. 40 or something, like I was so small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two hands, two hands. Two hands. Two hands. Two hands. Two hands. Two hands. And I just got beat up every day. And those boys told me, don't come back, don't come back. And I came back every day to training. And you know what happened during two years? Some of those boys, they got arrested, or they went to jail, or they got into trouble because they were bad boys. And I stayed there, and I stayed there, and I stayed there. And eventually, I became good. Just stay with you. Don't worry, you're not the best one the first day. The, the one who wins the medal, the Olympics, the professional, the one who wins in the end is the one who stays there, not the one who starts out really well. So if you start out bad, don't worry, just keep yeah. going. Okay. Train hard. Be happy. Smile. Smile. I want to see you smile. Smile. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I'm Antonio Grisepo, and that's it for this episode of Martial Arts Odyssey. We're in Puchong, Malaysia, helping these young Sanda fighters get in their game off the ground. As always, at the end of every episode of Martial Arts Odyssey, I tell you, get in the gym, do your sets, do your reps, do your road work, and please say a prayer for the people of Burma.